In this video, we can discuss about pharmacology of drugs used to treat constipation. The drugs which are used to treat constipation is known as laxative and purgative. There are some other synonyms for this like cathartics and aprients and this name is given according to the intensity of action to evacuate the bowels. So what is constipation? As we know, constipation is a condition of gastrointestinal tract which occur when bowel movement become less frequent and the stool become difficult to pass. So that is the condition of constipation. And what is the reason for this constipation? It happens most often due to the change in diets or routine or due to inadequate intake of fibers. So these are the reason for constipation. Now what are the drugs which are used for the constipation? Generally this is known as laxative, it is also known as aprients, purgative and cathartics. So these are the drugs that will promote the evacuation of the bubble. That is what the drugs which are used for constipation is doing. And the uh, drugs which are used for the constipation can be classified into two according to their intensity of action like laxative or aprients and purgative and cathartics. The laxative and aprients are the drugs which have milder action and it will help for the elimination of soft but already preformed stools. But in case of purgative and cathartics, these are strong agents or these are the drug which have stronger reaction and which will result in more fluid evacuation. That is the difference between purgative and cathartics. Fluid evacuation drugs purgative and cathartics laxatives milder action already form stool evacuate laxative and aprients drugs. Now coming to the classification of laxative like purgative and cathartics, it is mainly classified into four like bulk forming agents, so, so stool softeners, osmotic purgative and stimulant purgatives. Examples for bulk forming agents are dietary fibers like brands, physillium like plendago, isfagula and methyl cellulose, then stool softeners like docusate and liquid paraffins. Then stimulant purgative is again classified according to their chemical structure and other uh, actions like uh, diphenylmethane like phenophthalene, biscodin and sodium picosulfate, then anthraquinones like senna and cascara sagrada, then 5-HT4 agonists like procalproid and fixed oils like castor oils and osmotic purgative like magnesium sulfate, magnesium hydroxide, sodium sulfate, sodium phosphate, sodium potassium tartarate and lactulase. Now let's discuss one by one. So this is the classification, bulk forming agents, tool softeners and stimulant purgatives, osmotic purgatives, etc. Now before jumping to the individual drugs, let's have an idea about the mechanism of actions of laxative and purgatives. So what is the uh, mechanism of action of laxative? Lactis, laxatives are milder agent which are uh, which will help to evacuate preformed stools. So this will act by modifying the fluid dynamics of mucus cells and it may cause fluid accumulation in the gut lumen by one or more the following mechanism. The mechanisms are it may be by the, either inhibiting Na plus K plus ATPase on villous cells thereby impairing the electrolyte and water absorption or it may stimulate adenyl cyclates in crypt cells and thereby it will increase the water and electrolyte secretion in the bubble or it may increase prostaglandin synthesis in the mucus which may increase the different secretions in the GI tract or it may increase nitrous, nitric oxide synthesis which enhances the secretion and it will inhibit non-propulsive contraction in the colon and some structural injury to the absorbing intestinal mucosal cell. So these are the different mechanism of actions of laxative to modify the fluid dynamics and thereby it will cause fluid accumulation in the gut wall. 
Now coming to the mechanism of actions of uh, purgatives, it will increase the water content of the feces by hydrophilic or osmotic action by retaining the water as well as electrolyte in the intestine lumen and it will increase the volume of colonic content and it, may, it will make it easily propelled. And also it may act on the intestinal mucosa, mucosa and thereby it will decrease net absorption of the water and electrolyte. The intestinal transient is enhanced indirectly by fluid bulk. It may increase its propulsive activity in primary action and allowing the less time to the absorption of the salt and water as uh, secondary effects. So these are the mechanism of action. In one case, it will increase the fluid content or fluid accumulation and in another case, it will increase the water content in the fecus thereby it will uh, help for the evacuation of stool with the more fluid content. So that is the mechanism of action of purgative. Now coming to the first classification of uh, uh, laxative that is bulk purgatives, dietary fibers and brands. Usually this consists of unabsorbable cell wall and other constituents of vegetable foods like cellulose, lignin, gum, pectin, glycoproteins and other glycosaccharides. And the mechanism of action of dietary fibers are it will absorb water in the intestine and it will swell and it will increase the water content of the fecus and thereby it will soften it and facilitate the colonic transient. The osmotically active product may be formed in the colon by bacterial degradation of pectin, gum, etc. which act to retain the water. But it should not be used in the patient with or gut ulceration who have peptic ulcer adhesion stenosis when facial impaction is possibility uh, is a possibility uh, in case of ulceration so that is the first classification of uh, uh, laxative that is dietary fibers like brands bulk purgative now other bulk purgatives are physillium or plantaga or esfacula it is also known as cuscus that we have already we are using in uh, welcome drinks and all other things. These are containing a natural colloidal mucilage and which will form gelatinous mass by absorbing water in the bubble. Thereby it is largely uh, fermented in the colon and it will increase the bacterial mass and soften the fecus. So that is the mechanism of physillium or esfaculae. And another bulk purgative is methyl cellulose. This is a semi-synthetic colloidal hydrophilic derivative of cellulose and that will remain largely unfermented in the colony. So all the bulk per, uh, purgatives will act by uh, absorbing water in the intestine and thereby it will swell and it will increase the water content of the fecus. That is the mechanism of bulk purgative. Now coming to the second classification of laxative that is stool softness. Examples are docusate or dioctyl sodium sulfo sulfosaccinate or DESS. These are anionic detergents. They soften the stool by net water accumulation in the lumen by the action of intestinal mucosa. So thereby it will emulsify the colonic content and it will increase the penetration of water in the, into the feces. By the detergent action, the, it can disrupt the mucosal barrier and it will enhance the absorption of many unabsorbable drugs like uh, example like liquid paraffin. Hence it should not be combined with uh, uh, other unabsorbable drugs. And uh, it is a mild laxative usually indicated when straining at the stool uh, must be avoided. But there are some disadvantages like uh, adverse drug reactions like cramps and abdominal pain. It is bitter and may cause nausea and hepatotoxicity on prolonged use. So that is the second uh, classification of laxative stool softener like uh, uh, docusate. Another stool softener is liquid paraffin. It is a viscous liquid containing mixture of petroleum hydrocarbon. These are pharmacologically inert, usually taken 2 to 3 days. It will soften the stool and said to be lubricate the had uh, sibile by coating uh, them. But there are some disadvantages. These are very unpleasant and it will be very easy to uh, swallow. 
and it may produce some foreign body granulomas uh, in the intestinal mucosa and uh, the spleen and uh, liver. It will show may uh, trickle into the lungs and it may cause lipid pneumonia. So these are the some uh, disadvantages of liquid paraffin. Now coming to the most important part of the uh, laxative that is the stimulant purgatives. As the name indicate these are purgative which will evacuate the bowel with uh, fluid content and there uh, it will uh, stimulate the or it will irritate the mucosal membrane and thereby it will produce the evacuation of the bowel. So let us discuss one by one. These are most powerful purgative or uh, often produce gripping uh, while uh, the evacuation of bubble. Mechanism of action usually they will irritate the intestinal mucosa and thus were thought to primarily stimulate the motor activity. So some of them do directly increases the motility by acting on myendric plexus in the gastrointestinal tract. The most important mechanism is the accumulation of water and electrolyte in the lumen by altering the absorptive and secretory activity of the mucous membrane. It will also inhibit Na plus K plus ATPs at the basolateral membrane of the villus cell and transport the Na plus and accompanying water into the interstitium uh, is reduced. So it will increase the content of the water as well as sodium in the bubble because it will inhibit the uh, Na plus and K plus ATPs which is the uh, transporter which will help to uh, transport this into the blood. Now coming to the stimulant purgative bisacodyl, this is the one of the most important purgative that are mar uh, available in the market with a different name like uh, Garbisa and uh, Ducolax etc. The mechanism of action is uh, usually the bisacodyl is activated in the intestine by deacetylization by different uh, gut uh, bacteria, and the primary site of action of diphenylmethane is in the colon where it will irritate the mucosa and it will produce mild inflammation and it will increase the secretion. So thereby it will increase the evacuation of the bubble. So that is the mechanism of action of bisacodyl. Now important adverse drug reactions are allergic reactions like skin rashes, fixed drug eruption and Stephen Johnson syndromes and it is uh, used uh, 6 to 8 hours before uh, or after using this bisacodyl one or two semi formed motion occur after 6 to 8 hours of uh, administration. So these are available as uh, different dose 5 mg, 10 mg uh, suppository and it, it will act by irritating the anal and rectal anal and rectal mucosa and thereby it will produce ref reflex increasing the motility and evacuation occur within 20 to 40 minutes when it is administered as suppository. So that is the stimulant purgative bisacodyl. Now another stimulant purgative is sodium picosulfate. This is also a, a, a pro drug and which is hydrolyzed by colonic bacteria to form an active form there they, it will act locally by irritating the mucosa and it will activate the myendric neurons in the gastrointestinal tract thereby it will increase the evacuation of the bubble. And it is mainly used as an purgative and usually the bubble movement generally occur after 6 to uh, 12 hours of oral dose and along with the magnesium citrate solution it is used for the uh, evacuation of colon for colonoscopy as well as colonic surgery. So that is another stimulant purgative sodium picosulfate. 